Hey everyone, Adam and Troy Media here, and today we're going to be making one of these fun little text quote box thingies. So this is a pretty introductory level Photoshop tutorial, but these things have a ton of uses. I use them primarily when I am writing a blog post or a story, and I don't have a visual to go along with it, so something I might not have had an opportunity to take a photo of or just something I just don't have any visuals to go with. I make these from scratch, they're super easy, they take just a couple of minutes. You can see the one right here has just kind of a fun uh, quote from The Office, um, actually from Wayne Gretzky, that Michael Scott steals, it's from The Office, uh, blah blah blah. Probably a lot less funny to anyone watching this. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is go up to File, New, and uh, you can make these any size you want. I like this uh, 1000 by 1000 uh, square pixel one. Um, you don't need to worry about anything else over here. Let's go ahead and click Create. Now, uh, I want to unlock my background layer there, just so in case I need to mess with it. Now, the first thing we want to do is to give this a little visual variety by adding in a gradient. So go ahead and click your uh, gradient tool over here. And then uh, it probably defaults to the linear gradient, but we want this round one, this radial gradient. And uh, I'll go ahead and pick a fun little purpley color here. And then uh, we want a second one. Um, and a way that I find this easy to get a very similar color is just use your eyedropper, select the color we just got, and then drag that somewhere a little darker. Now we want our darker one below. We want this to look like this. Now go ahead and click somewhere in the middle of your image, drag it out here near the corner, and you're gonna see that we have a little bit of a light to a little bit of a darker purple. Um, you can see this gradient in action when you make a real small one. But we want a larger one like this to give us a nice little background. Then go over to our text tool and uh, we'll work on our quote. And uh, it's probably gonna default again to the color we just used. Let's make that white. And uh, I'm just using a pretty generic text here, this Helvetica, whatever it's called. And uh, I've got a condensed bold on. I don't actually want to change that. So make this whatever you like, though. It's just the font I've been using lately. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Make it a little bigger. Not too much. Uh, maybe cinch the text up. And kind of center it. Um, so here we go. We got that. Let's make sure that we've got a nice uh, end punctuation there. And then uh, we want to go ahead and give this some attribution. Go ahead and click your text tool again. And um, run. And obviously your name will go there. Let's center that up with the rest of this. Just somewhere down here. And I actually like making that a little bit smaller. Uh, just so I'm not a pretentious butthead. Now, so we've got this. Uh, I want this to stand out just a little bit more, but we'll get that. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh, click your text tool one more time. Click somewhere kind of generically. And then uh, I find that the uh, quotation marks used by this Helvetica new are really nice. So I'm going to hit shift quotation marks. Um, you're going to get these really neat looking ones here. And I want this to be nice and big though. So uh, double click on this. There you go. And uh, we might need to center it a little bit, but let's make them nice and big. Oop. Too big. Too big, too big. I'll just type 200 in there and see what happens. And nothing's going to happen. Oh, there we go. So yeah, around 200. Um, these are white right now. I'm going to make these kind of a even darker purple uh, or darker color than the background that we've got. And uh, we'll work on blacking those out or uh, making them fade into the background here. So drag those down below your text. Um, I like this darken and then dropping the opacity way down. Uh, just enough to see them, but not enough to make them the focal point of our graphic. So now we've got that, go ahead and right click, duplicate that layer, click OK. Go up here to edit with that layer still selected, and what we want to do is transform, rotate 180 degrees, and then just drag that down to wherever you want. Uh, up here, you know, we want to kind of make them the same. So we've got the box kind of outlining this M up here, probably do about the same down here, click OK, we have got it. Now, if you wanna make these, if you wanna center these up a little bit, you can select them both and 
do that. Uh, Photoshop should give you some of these, uh, you know, little guide layers, whatever. There you go. So in just a couple of seconds, we've made this. If we want to make this stand out a little more, what I like to do is do a little drop shadow on that. Um, I don't want this to be uh, too crazy, so I've just gotten a distance of two, spread of five, size of 10. Um, I've got the opacity drop down pretty low too. Go ahead and do that. And we just want to make that pop a little bit more. And I'll go ahead and do that on my name as well. There you go. So there you have it folks, in just a couple of minutes we went from nothing to a fun little text box like this. Now these are great for uh, if you want some visuals to throw up on social media for a story or a blog post that you, like I said, don't have normal visuals for. They're great for text or quotes or uh, data, things like that. So if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you want to subscribe for more content just like this one, you can do that below. If you have any comments or questions about this video or this tutorial at all, uh, let me know those in the comment section below as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial, and I will see you next time.